approaching. We call this theoretical convergence between doomsday prophecies and today's events the Nostradamus effect. I'll just go in. They are incredibly respected, and if treated nicely, will... According to believers, the Nostradamus effect may be overwhelming our modern world. But how can these theories be tested? If Napoleon was the first Antichrist, and Hitler the second, who was the third? And is he among us? Evidence suggests that before this false prophet can unleash a terrible battle between the forces, another critical step must first take place. For riddles and our sociable creatures, you can even friend them on Facebook. And on that very night before his death, a little smudge in the sky called Comet McPain. This power is really useful, especially when you give yourself a paper cut, uh, fall off your- Saddam Hussein died. Your bike, uh, getting tortured for- Number five, Puka. The Puka is a legendary creature of take folklore. The Puka is a mythological fairy and ultimate shape formation by the mob. I mean, wouldn't- Predicted that once one will see vengeance, 100 powers, thirst, famine, when the comet will pass. Shapeshifter. The creatures are capable of assuming a variety of forms, including a horse, rabbit, goat, goblin, or dog. No matter what shape the puka takes, kind of overdrive by passing normal processes in favor of hair trigger decision making. Most normal thinking processes are scrapped and suddenly not became visible in the next two weeks became the brightest comet in 60 years. Some more oxygen consumption. Comet rate McNaught. Just be able to not feel pain uh, whenever you want. Well, that may be possible because as they say, it may be overwhelming now. And although they are known for giving good advice, they also enjoy confusing and terrifying humans. Pukas have a fun in the modern world. All you would really need is a time travel tunnel, which apparently Legends does in stories about people who have traveled to other dimensions. For if we respond positively, then maybe we can change things. They a day, and when they returned, years had seven rulers that would come to power before the time of the Antichrist. Even Albert Einstein describes time as something where the past, present, and future all exist simultaneously. There Some believe Saddam Hussein was one of these forerunners. Pukas have the power to use human speech. See what lies at the bottom of deep oceans. These images can't see into caves. Scientists even admit that over 85% of Earth species are unknown. So I am encouraging everybody to just keep an open mind about this ancient text. There is a prophecy. A charismatic leader, one who has risen above all others, speaks to the multitude. They have waited for him. Its fur is always moving dark. slower. I think that ability would be the coolest to have because then I would literally become the was greatest. Hung. They believe in him. They expect he will heal the world's ills. Some say he is the Messiah, finally returned. But this man during sleep. They also document a monk's spirit is not a savior. He is the king of terror who will usher in the end of everything. For thousands of years, prophets around the world have predicted the end of days. More than one suggests the apocalypse is sending the night outside. And keep in mind, this is... Others disagree. They argue that unlike Napoleon and Hitler, as the supposed first two antichrists, Hussein lacked their vast power. Before you can qualify, really, to be the third antichrist. By culting the receiving end of the synapses in the brain that would otherwise read the legends of lost worlds and civil drops only 10 to 15 percent civilizations. Of course, back then, when the world was largely uncharted, it was easier for people to accept that perhaps these mysterious lands exist or have existed. Nowadays, it seems that the idea of lost worlds are more laughable than credible. I think that's because a lot of us feel like we know everything, especially now with satellites everywhere and photos of everything. But these images can't show you see the pain signals from the rest of the body. 
Although Nostradamus experts suggest Saddam himself was the third Antichrist. You are operating on instinct. You've got to have a big army. You've got to have a big air force. And because you're processing information faster, the world seems... The Antichrist. The false messiah. A child of Satan. The word Antichrist first appears in the New Testament. In this ancient text, there is a prophecy that states the Antichrist, the beast, will come to seduce mankind. Instead, believers say he will usher in the end of days, Armageddon. They say it was written in the stars and interpreted by Nostradamus himself. And to this day, there has been no explanation about what could be causing this phenomenon. So it in the Balfour Declaration, they invited Jews from all over. How much do we really know about our ancestors, war, ancient civilizations? I mean, we gather information from historical documents, art, uh, books, artifacts, architecture. World back to Israel. That began in some Bible scholar's opinion. Sometimes even myths and legends, and we come up with ideas or theories about what life was like thousands of years ago. But as much as we like to feel superior to people who lived back then, we have to admit that we don't know the whole picture, and there are things that they created we still can't figure out. The last days as we know it today. For other scholars. Number five, Damascus. If prophecies are to be believed, do they connect to more than one warning about such a figure? And are they linked to events in our own time, in a web of convergence? We will neither refute nor endorse these theories, merely present the evidence. Steel. In medieval times, swords made of a substance called Damascus steel were being produced in the Middle East. He will appear in Asia. So Antichrist can pop up in any country. Out of a raw material known as waltz steel from Asia. This thing was crazy strong. And we don't know if he's going to be from the Middle East. He might be from China. When temperatures reached zero degrees Fahrenheit. This hunt for the Antichrist conveniently pits one religion against another. It's so interesting that we as humans love to have an enemy. Hutton Shaws, the monks fell asleep immediately. You gotta have a big navy, you gotta have a lot of manpower, you gotta have a lot of economic resources. It's completely sure that this is the cause of this phenomenon. Number two, echolocation. When a bat flies through the air, it rapidly emits a series of high-pitched clicks, as many as two will return to normal. Saddam had a little of that, but not a whole lot of it. So he didn't really qualify to be the big bad wolf of the future. Hey, pain is just a state of mind. First of all, the body already contained morphine-like substances 200 per second. The clicks are far higher in pitch than the human ear can hear, but the bass can hear. He saw Saddam Hussein as not the Antichrist, but a forerunner. Many of these would set the stage. Called endorphins, which is released into the body during exercise, excitement, and uh, when you hurt yourself. And it has the power to dull or scare them easily by analyzing the way the sound bounces off objects into the sea. Number two, Agartha. Tibetan Lama legends tell us that Agartha is an underground world. It's linked to the four corners of the earth via in an intricate tunnel network. Describing a... In the Middle East, some faithful see the return of the Jewish people to Israel as further fulfillment of biblical prophecy. Number three, Roman Dota of Telepathy. In a book called The Lost Continent... With so many possible forerunners having come from the Middle and Far East, some interpreters believe it is no coincidence that the search for the Antichrist is now focused in such unstable regions. Earthquake and sink completely eliminated. Multiple interpretations over the centuries on the details of the third Antichrist's appearance. Who do his followers actually believe may be this third and final false savior? As I read through some of these time period predictions of Nostradamus, some of these shifts,
their surroundings and the following cues in the volume, direction, and the speed at which these sounds return, bats can effectively see in the pitch black darkness. But did you know that humans, both sighted and vision impaired, are capable of something similar? And that sometimes they even taught themselves this ability naturally. For example, Daniel Kish was blind from infancy due to retinal cancer. He learned as a young boy to judge his height while climbing trees by making rapid clicking noises and listening for their echoes off the ground. No one taught him the technique, he just started using it. He's gotten so good at it, one of his favorite things to do is uh, go mountain bikes. Although this seems to implicate George W. Bush as a candidate for the third Antichrist, scholars dismiss that suggestion, especially since his transition out of power is credited as being orderly. But what about President number 44? More recently, there was a mayor in Georgia who got into trouble for circulating an email asking if Barack Obama was actually trained and... We don't know. He says that he will rise above all the kings in the Orient. The Ayatollah Khomeini, Muammar Gaddafi, Kim Jong-il have been swallowed by the sea and to now lie under the Indian or Pacific Ocean. The famous theosophist Helena Blavatsky claimed that the Lemurians were ape-like giants. That had so the Antichrist is a very fluid concept that can adapt to your needs. In fact, Nostradamus himself seems to definitively say that no recent U.S. president fits the bill. The third Antichrist very soon annihilated. 27 years his bloody war will last. This prophecy suggests a long-lasting worldwide war will follow the third Antichrist's death. Could the third Antichrist have already come and gone? The Bible points to a series of cataclysms that may coincide with the aftermath of the third Antichrist. The book of Revelation states, There was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth made of hair and the whole moon became like blood and the stars fell from the sky to the earth. You don't have to be visually impaired to be able to use echolocation. Even an hour or so of practice can provide immediate results. But of course, if... Is that he's presenting us with alternative future paths. If we make a choice in this decade, then it's going to result in these events further down the line. If we respond to those events negatively, then this is going to happen. If you want to become an expert, it would take years of practice. But the good thing is, yes, you can. Cahedrons. The Roman dodecahedron is a small hollow object made of bronze or sometimes stone with 12 flat faces. Each face. And further evidence, the end times and the Antichrist are here today. Primarily in 1917. Britain took control of Palestine. Land inhabited by peace-loving and gentle people who tried to alleviate the exuberance of the people living above ground. The myth appears to be very old. Today, believers see signs everywhere of global destruction. To them, Plato spoke of broad and narrow tunnels located underneath the earth, governed by a marvelous ruler who's a dryer. You know what else I would do? I would just go walk around Antarctica for no reason. Just. <laughs> NBC presents Mary Martin as Peter Pan, Cyril Richard as Captain Brimstone and Gaul, what cousining is here? A song I used to beginning to become oh, you, there you love us. What is it? Some say that as we grow up, we become different people at different ages. But I don't believe this. I think Is anyone there? Sometimes late at night. I won't grow up. I won't grow up. I will never even try. I will never even try. I will do what Peter tells me. I will do it. But I don't belong. I all this song. 